Hi friends, I am V and today we are going to be unboxing the Moon Book and Lunar Oracle card set. So this, where does this come from? The Five Below store. So if you have a Five Below, go snag this if you want to. First see what it is. I don't even know what it looks like. But if you want to go check out the Five Below. If you can't find it there, I'm, I'm sure I'll be able to find it on um, Amazon. I'll link it below if I was able to locate it or Etsy or whatever platform I could locate it. But I thought this was so cool because I have the chakra. The sh oh my gosh, I don't have it with me on this. Uh, it's in my bookshelf with all the rest of my cards. I have the chakra wisdom uh, deck from the five below and that is so fun. It comes with the poster, comes with the booklet. It comes with 50 cards, I believe. And um, the cardstock is thin, but it's, it's shuffleable, it's fun. You got all the chakras. Um, you got lots of paragraphs talking about the chakra and affirmations. And so I'm curious to see if this is going to be just like it. So anyway, um, I found this at Five Below and it reminds me of the deck that I created, the Celestial Universe. I don't know if you remember it. This is, yeah, last year. This has 64, a 64 page book and I think there are, um, yeah, 26 Lunar Oracle cards. And so there's, you got the wolf moon, you got the, um, you got all sorts of different moons, which I, that's what really, in, you know, inspired me because I don't have that in my deck. And so I thought this would be the coolest thing to unbox and to dive into and to shuffle into our readings. So if you have this, please do try to, you know, um, do a video response. Let me know what you love about this deck. If you don't have it, like I said, all the links will be down below. And far below, you're awesome. Five Below is amazing. They have a spiritual section as well where you get to like buy crystals and essential oils and incense holders. I actually found this hand here, a little hand to hold the incense or my sage, my Palo Santo. Um, so they just, they're, they're really leveling up, you know, they're branching out and bringing in inclusive things, things that, you know, can relate, that people can relate to. So um, other people, like spiritual people like us, like us. So I'm so excited. There we go. So, so the box, it says, the moon's magical influence on tides and water has made it a symbol of fertility, fertility, regeneration, and wild natural power for thousands of years. Now with this gorgeous kit, you can discover more about this bewitching celestial body and its natural energy and impact on your own life. I don't have this stone either. This is amazing. Five dollars, you can't beat that, let me tell you. So, um, let's just see the stone. It's so pretty, it's like a moonstone. Isn't that pretty? You can use it if you wish. So, I'm gonna take out the plastic. All right, so look at this. Five below, my gosh, how can they afford to, to, uh, to sell decks this or right, in books you know at this cheap I guess they get it from another country and then they um, are able to you know afford to sell it so cheap amazing oh my gosh I love this already this book it has a lot of information and a lot of color oh my gosh and moon medicines recipes really that is so neat so I hope that we can find this on Amazon if you don't have a Five Below. Or, oh, you know what? Go to Five Below website and see if you can order it from their website. S 64 pages it says. This is the stone it comes with. It looks just like, I don't even know how to explain. It's a tumble stone. And it looks like it's like a rainbowish color. You see like the reflection? It's like a rainbow hue to it. Oh my gosh, I love it. You know, I'm about the crystals. I love crystals. I love stones, tumble stones, all that, clusters. All right, so this comes in a tuck box. Okay, 26 Lunar Oracle cards. So, of course, as a deck junkie, deck hoarder, deck collector, I love cards that, you know, I love all types of cards, but I love when we, there is, it's more than, uh, it's like more than 50. It says 26, but that's okay. If it's like tarot size, I'm sure we can shuffle them with the rest of our decks. Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful backing. I approve. Oh, and it goes great with the tablecloth. Yes. Okay, so 
Lunar Oracle cards are a tool you can use to connect to the power of the moon. Being aware of the moon's energies and how they affect your inner self will allow you to manage your thoughts and emotions and adapt your behaviors to create a personal environment that is in tune with your needs, hopes, and desires. Thank you. And oh, quickly, daily reads and guidance. Awesome. Let's see if I compare it to one of my decks, if it's like the same size. Oh, okay, it's the same size. Oh, okay, so I can easily just shuffle this in with my Celestial Universe Oracle because it has a lot of moon energy. Great. Let me see. This is my Astro Universe. I'm sorry. My Astro Universe. I'm sorry, my Astro num Numerous deck. Numinous. So it's a little bit smaller, so you probably can't shuffle these together. Yeah, I won't be able to shuffle together, but they kind of look at this look the same. All right, so tarot size it is blue moon. Now is a perfect time to set long term goals and so so seeds for the future. Mo new moon, the time is right for seeking new opportunities. Full moon, take time to relax, recharge, and replenish your inner strength. Waxing moon. Now is a good time to focus on achieving your own personal goals. Dark moon. Spend time in con contemplation and meditation. Waning moon. Let go of that which is causing your inner turmoil. Half to full moon. Moon in Aries. I love this. I love seeing the signs in, you know, um, in the moon energy. I love it. They should make one for the sun. I mean, that's where my deck is going to come in. My, my deck is going to have the, the, the signs in the sun, sun energy. Moon in Gemini, moon in Cancer, moon in Leo, moon in Virgo, moon in Libra. Oh my gosh. So uh, I'm starting to pick up on these images because I was actually Googling images for my, um, for my, my sign readings that I'm doing now. And this image came up, and the other, uh, like the cancer image came up. Wow, so they Googled these images and they used them for, for their, um, yeah, for their cards. Awesome, okay. Moon in Scorpio, Moon in Sagittarius, Moon in Capricorn, Moon in Aquarius, Moon in Pisces. And then you have the Moon totems. You have Wolf, the Hare, ooh, the Frog, the Cat the cow, and the owl. What does the owl say? A crisis will allow you to look into yourself and make an important revelation. Let's see. What does the collective need to hear at this time? What does the collective need to hear at this time? And it goes great with my spread. Collective, what do you need to hear at this time? What do you need to hear at this time? Okay. And this last one. Okay, moon in Libra, new moon, and blue moon. Okay, so this is saying, first one is bringing peace and balance into your life, and then you have new, uh, new, yeah, new beginnings upon you. So you bring balance into your life, and you will be presented with new opportunities. You have to, you know, um, even things out in your in your world, you know, find harmony and peace in different parts of your life, you know, whether it's with relationships or um, you deciding on what career to go with, you finding what works for you, and then look, new doors start opening, and look, blue moon is here. So after you have done this and you got all these opportunities being presented to you, the beautiful uh, energies around you, abundance. Look, you got the blue moon to follow. Now is a powerful time to set long-term goals and sow seeds for the future. So this is just going to set you up for your future. But you have to find a middle ground. You have to find harmony, equilibrium, your groove. Yes, amazing. So it's like choose your battles and um, find, find harmony in that. Find peace in that. If it's working for you, awesome. If it isn't broken, don't fix it. But finding a, a middle ground, even Steven energy, awesome. And then you have all these new things coming through because you have set a good, you know, balance for yourself. Great. So that's what I have for you. Thank you for watching. You have a beautiful day. Let me know if you have this deck. 
Like I said, um, everything will be linked below. This is my Who deck. If you're interested, buy any two of my decks. I have 14 of them. More coming soon. Hey friends, I just wanted to let you know that I do have a tip jar if you would like to support this channel and keep the energy going. The energy exchange goes a long way. It helps me stay motivated with pick cards and fun other video, other fun videos here on the channel. So there are different ways to do that. I have the join memberships right next to my subscribe button. If you click on that, you'll see all the different tiers that I offer. It's also reflective on Patreon. So whatever you decide to choose, it would mean so much to me. And your name gets put at the beginning of my videos to say thank you for your support.